The Little Red Caboose That Ran Away Story by Polly Curran Illustrations by Peter Burchard Once there was a little red caboose. He lived at the end of the Mary Mack train. Mary Mack was a strong black locomotive. Behind him came the hard-working coal car. Then came a car that was old and a car that was new and a car that was yellow, and a car that was blue. And the little red caboose was at the end. One day, the little red caboose felt unhappy. I'm tired of always riding at the end of the Merrimack train, he grumbled. As he rumbled along, he said, I think I shall run away. He waited until he reached the top of a high mountain. It's nice here he said to himself. So he let go of the car that was blue. He rolled onto the siding and hid in the grass. He listened. Toot, toot, sang Mary Max gay whistle. Rumble, rumble, went the hard-working coal car. And the car that was old and the car that was new and the car that was yellow and the car that was blue went clickety-clacking along. But... The little red caboose stayed behind. It was fun being lazy on the mountaintop all by himself. The little red caboose enjoyed watching the clouds float along in the sky. He liked listening to the birds sing. He liked looking at the pretty flowers. But as soon as it was dark, a cranky old mountain goat came walking by. Bah! he cried and rushed at the little red caboose. He butted the caboose as hard as he could. Ouch! yelled the little red caboose. Go away from me! Bah! cried the goat, and he butted the caboose again and again. The little red caboose held on to the rails with all his might. Stop! Stop! he begged. You'll push me right off this high mountain. The cranky old goat wiggled his whiskers. The little red caboose stood very still. He waited. The cranky old mountain goat walked away. Oh, sighed the little red caboose, and he shivered. I'm cold and tired, and I'm all banged up. I don't like it on this mountaintop at night. And then he began to call, Mary Mac, Mary Mac. The little red caboose heard train wheels. Then, toot, toot, called Mary Mac's gay whistle. Rumble, rumble, went the hard-working coal car. Then came the car that was old and the car that was new and the car that was yellow and the car that was blue. Mary Mac, Mary Mac, here is your little red caboose, shouted the caboose. He slid onto the track. He hooked himself onto the car that was blue. And Mary Mac and all the cars rolled along happily. For two days, the little red caboose was as good as he could be. He went up and down the mountains. He raced through dark tunnels and over long bridges. On the third day, he began to complain again. I'm tired of rolling along at the end of the Mary Mac train, he mumbled. I think I shall run away. Toot, toot, sang Mary Mac's gay whistle. Rumble, rumble, went the hard-working coal car. And the car that was old, and the car that was new, and the car that was yellow, and the car that was blue, went clickety-clacketing along. In the middle of a long, dark tunnel, he let go of the car that was blue. No lights blink and wink in my eyes here, he laughed. No auto horns toot. No boat whistles hoot. There are no cranky mountain goats down here. The tunnel was very quiet, but soon heavy freight trains 
wheezed through the tunnel. They left thick clouds of smoke behind them. The little red caboose began to choke, and then he began to cough. Then express trains dashed along the tracks. The little red caboose tried to keep out of their way. First, he stood on his two right wheels. Then, he stood on his two left wheels. <coughs> then he coughed again. Suddenly, a long, shiny passenger train backed into the tunnel. She switched from one track to another. She started forward. She backed up. Then, bang! She hooked on to the little red caboose. Out of the tunnel she went as fast as she could go. Help! Help! called the little red caboose as he bumped along at the end of the long, shiny train. You have made a great mistake. I don't belong at the end of a passenger train. But the train did not hear him. The little red caboose began to call. Mary Mac! Toot, toot! called Mary Mac's gay whistle. Rumble, rumble, went the hard-working coal car. Then came the car that was old and the car that was new and the car that was yellow and the car that was blue. Mary Mac, Mary Mac, here is your little red caboose, called the caboose. Oops, my mistake, said the long, shiny passenger train. She let go of the little red caboose. The little red caboose took hold of the car that was blue. I will never run away again, he sighed. I belong here at the end of the Mary Mac train. The Mary Mac train puffed along the shiny rails. Toot, toot, sang Mary Mac, the strong black locomotive. Behind him came the hard working coal car. Rumble, rumble. Then came the car that was old and the car that was new and the car that was yellow and the car that was blue. And the little red caboose came along at the end.